Hello everyone, in this presentation, we will be talking about Nymphula dipunctalis, rice case worm. It is scientifically known as Nymphula dipunctalis. It belongs to the order Lepidoptera and family Pyralidae. Its primary host is rice crop. The life cycle stage of the insect that causes damage is larva. Parts of the plant infested are seedling and tillering stages. Life cycle the life cycle of rice case worm has four main stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Eggs are laid on leaves. They last for 2 to 6 days. Larval period is between 14 to 20 days. It pupates itself in case for 4 to 7 days. Adult period is 4 to 6 days. The total life cycle is completed within 19 to 37 days. Identification Eggs are circular, flattened and measures 0.5 mm in diameter. Larva is pale translucent green with yellow head and digestive tracts are visible. It is 1.2 mm long. Pupa is cream in color and is about 5.5 mm long. Moth is delicate white with pale brown wavy markings. Damages The nature of the damage involves cutting of the leaves at right angles as if by a pair of scissors. Formation of tubular cases that serve as protector and carrier of larvae from plant to plant. These images show the tubular cases floating on water, thus serving as carrier of larvae from plant to plant or as its mode of dispersion. Upper leaf surface appears to be whitish papery and damaged leaf tissue appear ladder-like. Growth stage and damages by the pest. As already mentioned, the rice case worm infestation occurs during the vegetative and reproductive stages. General management Rice case worm can be culturally controlled by draining of stagnant water for at least 3 to 5 days, following proper crop rotation, maintaining adequate spacing, maintaining field sanitation, monitoring the fields at least once a week, applying appropriate fertilizers, or applying nitrogen in splits. Use of older seedlings reduces the duration of susceptible stage of the crop. It can also be chemically controlled by using cypermethrin at 1 ml per liter of water and chlorophyllophos at 4 ml per liter of water. However, chemical control should only be used in severe cases or as a last resort. It can also be biologically controlled by using snails for predation on eggs. Hydrophilid and diatessid water beetles feed on larvae. Spiders, dragonfly and birds feed on adult.